Good morning, good afternoon. How y'all doing? Well, it's me, Miss V again. Once again, I'm back out here in East Corona Street. But you know what? I just wanted to share something with you. You know, I told you I have a six-year-old foster child. And I've been doing everything possible trying to keep him safe and keep him virus-free for me and him. Well, guess what? I took him to get that COVID test last week for myself and him. And my little six-year-old has the virus. He is positive. I tested negative, but he tested positive. So you know I'm taking every vitamin tonic and double doses known to man right about now. Because I don't want it to uh, make no U-turn and come back to me. But I just was thinking about parents sending the kids to school because he go to school every day. He haven't been able to go for a week. But you know, encourage your children not to share because he keep his mask on. But the thing is, he was telling me that he was sharing a bag of chips with one of his little friends. She had a bag of chips and she was sharing with him. So now you know with children, when they eating chips out of a bag, what they gonna start doing? When they put a chip in their mouth, what they do? Yep, they lick every finger. Then they reach back down in that bag with those little spitty fingers. Cause they don't know any better. She was just sharing with her friend. So I'm sure that that's probably how he got that virus is sharing those chips and sharing her saliva. Because you see, she's out of school too because she got the virus. So uh, they knew that she had it. So that means there's two kids in his classroom with the virus. So that constitute that that whole classroom now has to be shut down because two children has tested positive. So be careful parents. I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. Keep your babies safe because all that we do, it seems like this virus is still after us. So really sometimes I think about it's not a matter as if we'll get this virus, but when we'll get it. Because it's so prevalent. It's like you can't do anything or go anywhere. And I don't have him around anyone. He just go to school. When we go somewhere, it's like we're in the car. I go through a drive through for him or something like that. I don't let him mingle with anybody for that reason. I did not want him to contract this virus. Well, okay, folks. You guys take care. And as usual, that was in Miss V's opinion. Bye-bye. I'll see you with my next video if I don't add on to this one. Okay, bye-bye, folks. Good morning. Good afternoon. How y'all doing? Well, I'm back. You know, I told you I may be adding on to this video. But you know, I thought of something else. However, it is like three days later. You know, I was just thinking about the children going to school with this coronavirus. And my little six-year-old getting the virus. You know, a lot of times, moms, we're taking these kids to school and we know that they have the virus. But we are putting Tylenol and Motrin in them so they won't show a fever. Which I understand you got to go to work and you need your job because you got to pay your bills. I get it. Truly, I do. I understand. However, I don't agree. Because you see, when you expose other people to a deadly illness, that's showing such a lack of love and compassion for others. Because you see, this virus is like a chain reaction. Because just like my son came home with that virus, that can happen to a lot of people. I have a weakened immune system because, I mean, I've been in and out of hospital because I have asthma really bad. And then I have damaged lungs already. So, you know, it was really a blessing and by the true grace of Almighty God that I did not get that virus from my foster child. So, you know, moms, you have to think about not just yourselves, but you have to think about other people. Because when that virus comes into somebody's home, 
You don't know who is going to strike. Some of these children are be ra being raised by their grandmothers and their great grandmothers. So can you imagine someone just like my mom? She's 92 years old. Suppose I would have been in the house with my mom and then, then my child getting the virus. That would have been devastating for my whole family. And it could have been deadly for my mom because of her age and her fragile state. I mean, she's doing very good for 92 years old, but if she had gotten that virus, it would have been a different story. So, you know, I don't know what the answer is to the dilemma of parents working and having children and they knowing that they have the virus and bringing them out anyway. I don't know what the answer is to that, but surely it's not to bring them to school and to contaminate other people because that could cause you to have blood guilt on your hand from someone else. So it was just something, you know, that I was thinking about. It was heavy on my mind. So I wanted to give my opinion about it. So moms, dads, you all need to really think about something. And then what are you teaching your children? These children know that they're running a fever. They know that they're sick. They see that you're pumping them up with Tylenol, Motrin, and sending them on to school anyway. What message is that giving them for future life? That's letting them know, okay, they can do things that hurt people as long as they don't know about it. They can do it secretly. And it's, it's teaching them to be private and secretly doing things behind even your back. And that's something that you're not going to want. So just think about the message that you're sending your children and pray about it and just do the right thing. And certainly bringing a child to school and you know that, they're, um, that they have that virus, that's definitely not the right things, moms and dads. So think about it and have love for neighbor. Because I understand you got to get these kids somewhere, you got to go to work. And sometimes we're just tired. Okay, we like, okay, you need to go to school. I'm tired. I'm taking you to school. But you got to think about it, the way that you're doing it. And how you're going to affect other lives. Because this virus is a chain reaction. It's like if one person in the house get it, somebody else surely will get it. And suppose, like I said, older people in there. This virus could wipe out whole families from you just taking your one child to school with the virus and with fever that you're covering up with Motrin and Tylenol. So now that was just something on Miss V's mind. I'm sure others have thought about it, but they probably didn't want to speak on it. So once again, all of that was in Miss V's opinion. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.